Yeah, clean all the room. It's a very nice room. Hey guys, so yeah, so this is the door you enter. When you come in, you have over here, you have oh this, yeah, I call this the bar. So you have the fridge here, let's see what's in the fridge. We have red strap, which I can't drink. We have water, Coca Cola, Sprite, all of them soda there. I'm not supposed to drink. We have coffee station here. <coughs> now we turn this away. We have the luxurious bath. You know who's going to take a bubble bath, right? I'm going to take a bubble bath. Then we have the sink, the shower, toilet. And then we come on here, we have a closet. There's some heavy doors. This is not for somebody else, it's not me. We have robes, guys. Robes, do we have any footwear? No. We have a door, we can close the door. And then this is our suite. Double beds, which we're gonna push together. There's DJ, say hi DJ. And we have a step down into this little area here. We have an office area and we have the couch. So then we go outside. What is it? It's raining, guys. We have the kids park over there. It's, it's a bummer that it's raining, but we're going to enjoy it nonetheless. Cool time. Time does um in service go? No, it's twenty four hours. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yes. 
so we got room service so i think this is pie we got a brownie a club sandwich burger cheese fingers and chicken we're gonna enjoy all of this yes and baby dj is sleeping okay him Yeah, so so I'm going to enjoy that now. Enjoy some food, relax, cause it's still a bit rainy. Then we're gonna see what kind of activities we can do since it's raining. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just relaxing, like enjoying my little vacation in my room. Sexy mama. <laughs> TV and food. And my baby. I'm good. Alright, so I should talk to you guys about packing for a baby or traveling with a baby. This would be his three months, and this would be the second time I'm traveling with him. I pack extra so i have where for three days yeah three days and i have approximately five outfits and about three swimsuits um, which is going to mostly be in so that's a lot for three days um i have three blankets the one that he's laying on is receiving blankets and then two normal blankets and then, then I also have his towel I have grab cloths I have his shower gel but um, you always need a big bag so I have two bags this one is the bigger bag that I have and I have a black and white bag that you guys saw in my hospital bag tours um, so yeah so one of my tips for traveling with baby if it's like a two hour three hour ride um feed baby before getting into whatever vehicle you're in so that they will be calm and ready to sleep because most babies sleep on journeys wherever they're going in the car um well at least he does and then they'll be calm for the journey for changing you should also Put on a fresh diaper before going in the car because they'll be clean enough for whatever journey so while they're sleeping it's not like they have a full pampers and then you can stop like halfway at whatever rest stop and change them in the car it's good to have a changing pad that is big so that you can put them whether on the back of the car on the bonnet or on the seat um yeah, my hands hurting because my heart's full of this big camera. So yeah, it's good to have all of that. Um, have stuff pre-packaged, like organized, so it's easy to change them. So for me, my changing, my changing pad is this. So we have this, and it's like very big. So he doesn't have to touch anywhere. It's very big. And in this compartment, I normally have the diaper and the desitin. I just changed him so I kind of took them out. And then you have the wipes here. So it's very convenient. You don't have to be struggling with stuff, lugging stuff around. And that's one of my other tips. Um, so yeah, breastfeeding for me and exclusively breastfeeding so whenever he does wake which is like on this three hour or two hour drive he didn't wake up until we're almost there so i was yeah that was good because as i said i fed him before we left um so i just fed him while we're entering wherever we're going like we're, we're actually entering where we're our destination when he woke up so that was good um so yeah that's it so far um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and yes i'm vlogging again um yeah
Ooh, eating time. You okay, baby? Hey. Hey, mommy's baby. Hi. Hi, pumpkin. Hey. Hi. <laughs> It's a very gloomy day. What a weekend we pick to be out here. Yeah, I'm breastfeeding. 
Breastfeeding is a problem, but they can't be breast exposed. It's a part of nudity that so they can't go nude in the middle of somebody. You know, yes, but it's basically like you're taking out the breast. Yeah, so we're going to get to cover your breast. There's nothing wrong with covering the breast. It's still a breast feed, the baby is still a breast. And that's the thing. That's the problem. That's where. It's not so yeah, so I say, if you be a mother to take out the embrace of people dinner table? Huh? Be a mother must take out the embrace of people dinner table? You can say if, if it's that door around the table, but now it's other people that are around the table, I'd say it's you. Yeah, but you have to think about what is around now, what is beyond. So, for example, if a woman, a woman, have her breast it would be old, is there a breast milk or whatever, it would be all fine and then the old as it's sexy or she just be in this or that. Why is it a problem for me to breastfeed her? Not like I'm taking it up to show nobody, I'm taking it up to give my child. Mm -hmm. This is what we call living the life. Oof.